Governor Martin O'Malley holds a debriefing with the press on his recent trade mission to India. Several dozen members who traveled with O'Malley were in Annapolis this morning, including Prince George's County Executive Rashern Baker. Eight Maryland businesses signed deals with Indian partners, including Baltimore-based Premier Rides, which signed a $7 million deal to create a custom theme park attraction for a new park in India. CyberPoint International, one of uh, uh, our uh, emerging um, cybersecurity companies located in Baltimore, signed a $10 million deal with an Indian company to develop new security solutions for mobile devices. I also had the opportunity to pitch Maryland to two of India's largest and oldest business organizations, and we met with two states in India, uh, one uh, being Andhra Pradesh and the other being the state of Maharashtra to explore sister state relationships. What we had in Prince George's County, we wanted to bring a number of businesses, and quite honestly, take advantage of the fact that we have this economic development incentive fund, $50 million, that we can then say to companies in India, not only you're getting the support with great companies here, but this goes to, to the very point, and that is, you're gonna have the full support of the county government. And we know that there's gonna be incentives that we need to add to that. And so, uh, for us, it was to take a number of businesses, tell them about the opportunities that they had, over, that they had with India, but also to be able to, to show them that they have the backing of uh, not only the state, but the local government. So it was a tremendous uh, opportunity for us. Maryland has seen a 70% increase in its market exports to India. While most of those on the delegation paid their own way, the administration says the recent trade mission cost the state about $140,000. O'Malley says he's contemplating similar trips to Brazil and Africa.